Tagora, leather cutting room solution, offline advanced workflow. The leather upholstery industry is facing major challenges. The continuous sophistication of customers' tastes leads to a higher degree of products customization. At the same time, the rising price of leather and the high cost of qualified workforce add to the pressure of increasing production to cover new market opportunities. For years, the inline workflow has been the standard for the leather cutting room. With all the processes, scanning, nesting and cutting being performed at once on the cutting machine, the only advantage is simplicity. Although this workflow is still useful for shoes industry manufacturers, it has severe drawbacks for the challenges of the upholstery industry. The offline advanced workflow means that the scanning, automatic nesting and cutting processes are performed on different workstations. This workflow was designed for an increased overall performance when the production is defined by large area parts and a high diversity of the hides from the nesting efficiency's point of view. Everything starts with the design of the product models in any CAD application, followed by the files being imported in the Tagora database. During the import procedure, the models are automatically checked for geometrical and consistency errors. The leather from the suppliers is received and stored in the warehouse. All the information from suppliers related to the received batches are stored in the Tagora database. The next step is the scanning of the hides from the batches on the Tagora leather scanning machine. Each hide is automatically ranked based on its nesting efficiency potential. The hides are uniquely labelled and placed on separate horses based on their rank and batch. The horses are sent back to the warehouse. The production workflow is triggered by the orders sent by different customers from around the world which are received by Tagora. The automatic planning module optimizes the whole production by organizing these customers' orders into production orders. For each production order, three production jobs are created. The pit job, the nesting job and the cut job. In this process, the required area of each rank for each job is automatically calculated in order to increase the nesting efficiency of the entire batch. After the orders are processed, the pit jobs are sent to a mobile barcode reader device. Each job indicates the required hide area per rank. The operator picks the hides by scanning the barcodes until the required quantities are met. The picked hides for one job are stored on a horse and sent to the cutter's area. When the last hide from one job is picked, the nesting server starts the automatic multi-hide nesting. Once the nesting is finished, the nesting job is manually approved by the operator or automatically approved. After nesting is approved, the job is ready to be cut. The hides are handled one by one. Lay the hide, cut and collect the parts. For maximum accuracy and speed, the hides laying and parts collecting processes are assisted by a video projection system. After cutting, based on logistic criteria, the cut parts are collected in different boxes and the reusable waste is automatically labelled and sent back to the warehouse. Finally, after cutting, the quality control is performed on a separate station. The parts to be recut are marked in the system for reprocessing and a full traceability of the entire process. The approved parts are ready for sewing and the whole workflow is complete. Now let's recap the most important advantages of the offline advanced workflow. By separating the scanning, nesting and cutting processes, the cutter has a much higher productivity because it is used only for the job it is supposed to do, cutting. Additionally, the multi-hide nesting allows for an increased nesting efficiency for each nesting job. Furthermore, the hides pre-allocation leads to an increase in the nesting efficiency for the entire batch. For more details, please check out our website.